Okay, lovelies, I think I finally got the lighting right so I don't look like I'm staring directly into the sun. <laughs> anyway, how are you? I'm a hot mess, <laughs> but it's all okay. It's all okay today. So I wanted the Sunday Style Guide to turn into something Instead of talking about new releases during the style guide, it's going to be more about the things I already currently have and like how I would put together different outfits for my closet. That didn't happen this week because everything fell apart. <laughs> so I had to work an extra long shift at work a couple of days. Um, so I just really didn't have any time for filming and putting together um, a lot of different outfits and like photographing them and doing them. I was going to have cute little like photo shoots that I would insert into the video. And it turns out that just because you have an idea doesn't make it like magically happen. Who knew? So <laughs> what we're going to talk about today is going to be a little bit different. We're going to talk about 2019 style trends and what I think about them. Hmm. Will I be salty? Hmm. And uh, on some things, yes, most things, no. So there was a couple of articles on like business insider and style uh insider like forecasts and just kind of people looking at different trends and what they think is going to be really big in 2019. one of the things i was actually pretty excited about was bright colors like bright pinks and bright purples and just a lot of really bright uh bright colors and I am here for that. I'm totally here for that. We see it more in the spring and summer, um, but I'm really down for bright jewel tones in the fall too. I love that. But we've kind of seen a lot of like more neutrally tones these past couple of years. And whereas neutral tones are good because they go with everything, I'm kind of with I like I'm kind of like that with eyeshadow too. Like I'm kind of over it. Like we've seen it enough. And I'm really excited for the brights. Let me know in the comments down below if you are. And um, there's some, I'll insert some pics here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And the other thing I was excited about was that specifically in plus size fashion, the suit silhouette. So like menswear inspired clothing, but with a more feminine edge coming in 2019. So I think in the early 2000s, in the early aughts, you might be too young to remember, there was a lot of like things popping up at Lane Bryan Avenue where you had a lot of like double-breasted pinstripe uh, dresses and blazers and things like that. And I was actually really into it. I know some people really don't like stripes when they're plus size. I think that if it's done correctly and the pattern's done in a very good way, that it can look amazing. I. I love print and I love uh, I love pinstripes. I think it adds a touch of I kind of feel like um, I kind of feel like a modern day monster when I wear them. <laughs> like I don't think you should aspire to that, but I'm just saying it kind of makes you feel kind of like a like a bad bee, you know. <laughs> so um, I think that that would be pretty neat to have in your collection. And if you already own some pinstripe things, like a pinstripe blazer maybe from a few years ago, popping on like a bright camisole with some neutral pants, that would be pretty awesome. And just kind of bringing back that, that sort of put together but still casual sort of vibe, I really like that. Uh, also, there's, in, as, in terms of color, there is something they're calling Generation Z yellow. It's like a marigold yellow, so it's in between mustard and bright. It's not quite, it's like a muted, it's like a muted yellow with a tiny bit of brown in it, I think. So it's not quite mustard, not quite yellow, uh, not quite sunny yellow. And I like this because it's a happy bright color that's not neon. It's not neon yellow. And so I don't really enjoy neon yellow, but I can get down with like a golden yellow or a marigold yellow or anything like that, especially paired with like a blue or a brown uh, jacket or a blue or a brown shirt. I think that those look really nice, especially if you're going to embrace the other trend that they're talking about in 2019, which is the pleated skirt. I actually picked up a yellow gold pleated skirt at a thrift shop about a few months ago and I was so sad because I ripped it. I need to take it to the seamstress. I love it, but I ripped it. So I need to take it in and get it repaired. 
and uh, now that maybe in 2019 this trend is starting, maybe I'll be more likely to go do that. I am famous for purchasing something and saying I'm going to get it tailored because I'm five feet tall and then not doing it. Raise your hand. <laughs> do the hand raise emoji in the comments if you uh, do this. Um, but I am famous for saying like, oh no, 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 I can get it tailored and then just never getting it tailored. Um, like I said, do the hand raise emoji if you're the same. And the other kind of, there's another trend on the horizon that they were talking about. I think this was on the Business Insider one. I'll insert the picture here. It was about faux leather earrings. And I don't, I don't really have an opinion about it. I think that anything that doesn't use animal products is cool and fantastic. But I'm just not really drawn to non-sparkly earrings. I'm just not really, that's not my jam. So I'm not drawn to it. I, I want sparkle, I want pizzazz, I want, to me jewelry is adding just a tiny, a sousson of drama to an outfit. And that's what I want. I want a delicate gold chain with like baguettes. I want just, you know, little diamond studs or little pearls or something. I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily want like a round disc of faux leather. Like it doesn't, that doesn't inspire me, but that being said, I've never owned a pair, so maybe if I went into Forever 21 or Charlotte Russe and they had them and I, you know, held them up to a mirror like and did that, maybe I might change my mind. But let me know in the comments down below if you are into this trend or if you're just like, nah, not for me. So I also am really excited about statement sleeves making a comeback. And I, when I say statement sleeves, what I mean are the kind of puffy sleeve with like ruffles down the side, but it's tapered. And I'll, I'll insert like a picture of a sweater here. And I really love this idea because it is, for me, the cross between having kind of a soft feminine look that's also streamlined. To me, that's like the gold standard of that's my style, that's what I like. It's not for everyone, I get that. Some people don't like dramatic sleeves. Um, what I'm not excited about in this trend is kind of like the big bell hippie sleeves and like the really kind of loose like butterfly sleeves. I never really got into that trend. I think I own like one shirt that I bought from Target like that and I never wear it. So I learned that about myself that I don't like it. I got it on clearance, but still I just, I learned that I don't like it. So I'm gonna declutter it and hopefully someone else can get some joy out of it. I just, it just isn't my thing. Um, mostly because I'm a terribly messy eater and those sleeves just, just get in everything. Like I didn't even eat guacamole one dinner and like there was guacamole in that bell sleeve. I don't, I don't know how. I, I don't so but it was there <laughs> so I don't I, I don't like the big bell sleeves I'm not here for that um, I am here for kind of like the netted accessories so in the I guess like the Jane Austen era that was like a huge thing where women would net a purse so they would take like netting and they would put like beads like per, they would pearl put pearls in the netting and like put it over a purse and just to kind of like jazz up their accessories and I I kind of like that look I don't know that it's for an everyday look but maybe going out to a fancy dinner or going out with your girlfriends or maybe even to brunch I think that that would be a cute look but I don't think it's an everyday look for me um I also am not a huge fan of brown skirts. And unfortunately, I feel like brown, like kind of really dark browns are making a comeback into fashion. And I'm just not, so I don't look good in brown. There are some people who look, they look great. I Just me personally, I don't like that aesthetic. I don't like it. So, I feel like I just kind of look bleh, bleh, bleh. I don't, it's like bleh brown, you know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't want that, I don't want it. So, <laughs> um, 
let me know in the comments down below what trends you're into, what trends you're not into, what you're looking forward to, and what you're hoping to see. Um, some of the things that I would hope to see coming would be more of that kind of like Jane Austen era look where it's very tapered, very fashion um, Parisian inspired, like 18th, 17th century. But for the modern era, I would really love that. Something that was chic but wearable. And I really hope that like flats come back, like just kind of like cool looking flats because I have just come to the realization that I'm probably never want to wear high heels again. I think that it's great for a little while for the aesthetics and then after that just no, nope, I don't want it anymore. And don't forget to tune in for our Vegan Makeup Mondays where I talk about brand new vegan makeup products. And if you like this video, hit like, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and hit the notification bell. You know how YouTube works. Thanks so much guys and have a amazing Sunday. Remember to relax, restore, and above all, be thyself. Bye lovelies.